Hey all you party people out there. <clears throat> Welcome back to Half-Life. We're moving on to Black Mesa East. Let me actually just move my mic a little bit closer. Let me see. That was a, you should be able to hear that better now. Turn off. Yeah, it should be fine. That's a little loud. They've got something. Okay, it's it's human. Hello? Take it easy in there. They're safe now. They'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Yeah. Gordon Freeman? No. Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. Okay. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they fail to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement. Yes. <laughs> Listen to me. I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined the Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively, a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right on. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now Stasis. Let's, the last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Hi, cremator. You are. MIT get fucked. graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Well, let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. Science. I don't know what I'm doing. said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. Maybe. There's nothing Gordon can't handle. With the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... Okay. Thanks, Eli. Take a look at this, Gordon.
Okay, what does this even do? so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here, working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. Uh, well, sweet of... Alex. Why don't you thing take from Gordon along and give him some practice those are flat textures sure come on Gordon let's go have some fun the zero point energy field manipulator is not a toy Alex Ugh, let's get out of here I'm stuck okay those are the isotope boxes from uh, Half-Life 1 See you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. Come on. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Why? Why don't you go down to Ravenholm? Seems like you should go down to Ravenholm. We used to be able to go right up there to Ravenholm. Okay. Maybe we should go to Ravenholm sometime. It seems like a fun idea. <laughs> you know. Maybe we'll have some Adrian Shepherds down there. Here we are. The scrapyard. Yep. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. Hi, HEV suit. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. Sweet. Thanks. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. Thanks. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you pick something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. Years of Gmod. <coughs> Some memories. You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. I did. Oh, those barrels. I'm up here. All right. Beware of dog.
Hi, dog. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built me to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, nice boy. Okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. Jesus. Use the gravity gun. Oh, God, that, that is so bad. Okay, your ball is a roller mine. Let me see if I can get a basket. I can so totally get this basket. Nice catch. Nice shot. Yes. When I told you dog like to play fetch, I didn't tell you who should have to Ball's gone. <gasps> Sorry, dog. Okay, Gordon, let's try something else. Dog, throw something bigger. Come on, come on. Whatever. No dog. No, no. Uh. What's Rave? Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here. Hurry, now! Tear it apart if you have to. Get it open! That's enough, dog. Come on, Gordon. Come on! Come on! Yeah, okay. That tracks. Going through Ravenholm. I suppose this is going to be a short one. I really should have done this earlier.
Yep, here we go. We're in Ravenholm. We don't go here anymore. Alright, and that's the end of that chapter. Jesus Christ, that was only 15 minutes. Alright. Well, if you like this video, uh, this one's not going to be edited at all. Um, well, I mean, except it actually will be edited. Thank you so much to these two smelly... These two smelly names on my Patreon for subscribing. Uh, as little as $1 a month can get you featured on this card list. $5 a month. Uh, you can be in one video a month. Um... Uh, at least one video a month. $10, you get to vote on what kind of videos you want to see. $15, you, whatever. You don't have to, you don't have to donate that much. You don't even have to donate at all. It's just, if you want to be, if you want to be over there, I recommend you do so. You don't have to. I'm not going to say anything if you don't. But I appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, nerds.